Why should she write to Edmund? <laughs> Might not you deliver... What's the, you well, want to give the people just a taste of one of those characters? You should, I mean, I can't character? do them. But no, give them a sentence of Gator Boy. Like, like uh, I'm 14, and I'm trying to learn a kick flu. But it's Grace doing it, so it's a lot. It's a lot more interesting. Right, right. <laughs> We're here. It's happening. Yeah. We're here at the Park Hyatt, or the Hyatt, on King Street during TIFF 2019 with one of the stars, drum roll, I wish I could drum roll, can you do a drum roll? There you go. Uh, Jesse Stanley and the director, okay, fair, fair, Harry Chepka, um, <laughs> the film Raph, which is short for Raffaella. Yes, that's right. The title character, who we were just discussing off screen, the magnetic pairing of these two actresses, uh, magnificently played by Jesse here, and very generous. one of your other very good friends. Yeah, Grace Glowicki. They are incredible in this film together. And we were talking about some of their theatrical background, which lended itself quite nicely to this film with the clowning and the classical training that yeah. you have. Thus the King Lear monologue. Oh God, yeah. Can we get a little bit of that? No, don't make me do that. Maybe Think the about very, it very at end. the very end. Oh, yes. <laughs> prepare, <laughs> prepare yourself. Even just the double, 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 double. Oh my God. You know, the I'm thing is... The thing about making actors do things in films I love is it. that they dance monkey. Dance. They do it, and then they never want to do it again. I know, you know right? Like the conditions are so stressful and, yeah. and, and fast paced that they've gotten it out. And when you ask them to do another take and another yeah. take, it's under duress that they. It accept. is. It is. So now taking contract, us back here, under into, under a, unless yeah. we are like begging for another take. No, well, that's true. That's true. Did you often have to? Like, did you just feel like you didn't get it? I mean, yeah, I felt like I didn't get it almost the entire <laughs> way through. Wow. But well, I mean, that, but but I think that's that's fairly natural. Also, you just are yeah. like, oh, I was yeah. getting close to something, and we were getting we we were we were onto something, and then we have to move on. I mean, we had we had a very intense and tight schedule. So How many days? Thirteen. With one of those days being travel, right? Yeah, one wow. day was travel and shoot oh on the ferry. God. So, so this movie is so small. You know, we made it like as a bunch of friends. Really, yeah. um, it, it it was an eight person crew, I think. Um, That's insane. Yeah, it, it was insane. We it, had it, dinner together every night. It yeah, was my like parents. That's so nice, it was though. Really it's lovely. like a, going to camp, right? It was. Parents yeah. catered the whole thing. My parents oh my catered. God, they were so exhausted. Um, yeah, it, it was it was <laughs> it a family affair. Really. <laughs> Sounds like it. I I am super impressed to hear that it was done in twelve days because we've seen a lot of low budget Canadian films mm -hmm. at First Weekend Club and yeah. you know uh, this one does not look like it was shot in twelve days. Yeah. Uh, with eight people being your crew. Yeah, yeah. It's, fasc it, it's fascinating. Yeah, um, we had a kudos. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we. I think it was really exciting to see what. <laughs> You know, it felt crazy at the time. It mm -hmm. felt, you know, rushed and, like, we never had enough time to do everything. But um, th my friends and I were all, like, so focused and and yeah. collaborative, I guess, that um, it. We kind of, I feel like we snuck a feature into the, into the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Jesse, can we talk about your character? Sure. And when you saw this script, like, what was it about Tal that made you want to say, yeah? <laughs> Oh, well, um, I mean, there's a little bit of backstory about Tal because Harry and I w lived in Toronto, um, like almost, I guess it was like about a decade ago. Mm -hmm. And um, we, in our spare time, would try to just like come up with sketches or things that we wanted to film. We were kind of getting used to the idea of mm -hmm. filmmaking. And um, we did one little mini series. I don't know if it's like, we ever did anything with it, but it was called Beautyville, okay. and I was like a very grotesque version of this like extremely wealthy, horrible woman, okay. um, with a ton of Botox and like just wore leopard print, um, real hoose and yeah. yeah, 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 and uh, I, I think you were prompting behind the camera and just asked me what my name was, and we had never decided what my name was, and I said Tal, mm -hmm. and. Then, okay. like, so this went, I mean, we, then we never touched it for a long time, but Harry liked this character. And then when when he was writing the, this, the idea for, for this iteration of Tal, it was like little essences of her were still meant to be present, but she was brought back into somewhat of a realistic a real version. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So, um, 
Uh, that's a bit of a roundabout way of answering your question, but I guess when I saw the script, I, I was just so excited for us to be working together on something and um, for there to be freedom for us to play around with something that had like a little bit of um, of history to it. Yes. Yeah. So a, a, a character was born many years ago and just kind of filtered down to what would work for this movie. Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, I wouldn't say that I did not want Tal in, in this movie to be grotesque or anything, mm -hmm. but I did kind of... I knew that Jesse could play this kind of like charismatic, um, you know, privileged person very well um, because we had played around with it so mm -hmm. much. So, like, yeah, bringing the tone down a little bit, but also kind of, yeah, I wanted a little just hint of that um, from before. Well, I think she nailed it because she's she's actually quite likable in mm -hmm. some ways yeah. until she's not likable, but she's magnetic for sure. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you did a great job. It's it's easy to see why Raph kind of falls in love with her. Mm. Not really, but sort of, you know, yeah, yeah. ensnared in her little web mm. of uh, exciting excitement and uh, mm. playfulness. A good way of putting it. I mean, the same yeah. goes for Raph's impressions. Like, all all those characters oh, yeah. are pre-existing. So. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, Grace and I developed those characters together as well. <laughs> you want to give the people just a taste of one of those characters? You should I mean, I can't do them, but no? I mean, okay. <laughs> there's Bodine, there's Skater Boy, there's okay. Doug, and, you know, so it's kind of like, we were, we were Not using... Not even a sentence of <laughs> Skater Boy? Like... Skater Boy is like, um, 14 and... I'm trying to learn a kickflip, but it's Grace doing it, so it's a lot. It's a lot more interesting. Right, right. Than me doing okay. it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. So, so like we're we coming to you later, so just get ready. <laughs> uh, so we took this like foundation of of kind of not of old sort of work that we've done yeah. in the last ten years. Have that fun. We didn't even know it was r serious. We didn't know what a short film was. We just made these little video sketches, and then turns out they had some kind of value. Oh my god, it all came movie. full circle yeah. in this film called Wrath. Mm -hmm. And it's such a great film. It does not look low budget at all. Actually, this, <laughs> the scenery... It's no, it's quote. actually quite beautiful. <laughs> it's <laughs> fabulous. Put it that does on the not movie. look low budget at all. <laughs> does not feel like an eight-man crew. Yeah. You, can, you can take that quote, too. <laughs> um, actually, the vistas of Vancouver, because it's shot in Vancouver, mm. uh, are quite beautiful. Like, the on the lake when she's kayaking. Yeah. Um, it was just some beautiful cinematography. Yeah, that's my uh, friend Gregory Oak who shot that. Um, he's he's from England, but we met in film school. <laughs> now he lives in Berlin, so he's not here. But oh, he's, he's gone fancy. He's, yeah, he's yeah. gone fancy. <laughs> he's gone fancy. Yeah. Um, speaking of fancy, so there is this fabulous uh, King Lear monologue that is... <sighs> she hasn't forgotten about it. <laughs> a key part. Oh, I'm like an elephant. We never forget. Mm. I'm even wearing an elephant right now, so I certainly can't forget. Uh, just a little... You don't think this is going to deter the potential? <laughs> no, are you kidding me? That moment was just, to me, uh, I loved it. Standout moment. That scene definitely highlight of the movie. Okay, um... Don't Why listen. should she write to Edmund? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, uh, but I guess just trying to think about how to... Why should she write to Edmund? Might not you deliver... What's the... Her Might purposes. Deliver, her purposes, my word. Be like... I don't know what. I love thee much. <laughs> See you after. This is exactly what happens in that movie. You can't like, how take can it you? Seriously. No, you can't. You can't. But it's also fascinating to watch. It's just amazing. Thanks. I loved every moment of. Did you love doing that? Yeah, yeah it's well, so like, fun to be so over the top. So over and to the do top. A really bad British accent, which. Um, not as Wait. bad as my British accent. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty bad. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, really. <laughs> but it's maybe a character from Les Miserables. Uh, I don't know. It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. Yeah, you yeah. can work that in. Okay. Yeah. Next, next movie. Next, yeah, next yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I think we'll cap it off at that because now I'm sweating, uh, being put on the spot, and I know. Poor um, Jesse's hands are probably clammier than they were when we got in here. <laughs> Leaving but like marks on my leather. Pants. Should not have mentioned that. Should not have mentioned that. She looks so beautiful. Why did I say that? Oh, this no, has no. been fabulous, folks. Thank you so much for taking some time to chat with the lovely people of thank First Weekend Club. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, what is this that we're seeing in the back? We're seeing somebody's bag. Uh, never mind. It's just uh, props here. Oh, swag. Props. It was swag. 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 We got there. some swag. Yeah. We got some. Sw yeah, we got some swag. <laughs> Swagger. We took full advantage of the swag. We sure did. All right, that's it for now, guys. Bye. Thanks.